afternoon. Welcome. Just real quick, I am Skylar with Lean Frontiers. As you see on our screen, a plethora of the Cotta Girl Creeks. And also just real quick, you will receive a recording to this within 24 to 48 hours. That will come directly from me and I will pass it over to Tracy. Tracy, go ahead. Well, my clock says 8.59. So I think we might get... <laughs> <laughs> we might give a little minute or two for people to get on, but since we are on the recording, I guess I could go and say uh, thank you, Skylar, and welcome everybody to this Lean Frontiers webinar called Don't Go It Alone, uh, Find or Build Your Cata Community. My name is Tracy Defoe, and I am the host uh, of this webinar. I'm also a very proud uh, Cata Girl Geek and one of the co-founders of Cata School Cascadia. Uh, when I was asked by Lean Frontiers if I knew anything cool that the Cata Girl Geeks were doing that might make for a webinar, I replied with a laugh that I know all the Cata Girl Geeks and they are doing many cool things, but maybe the one that would be most interesting to people outside of our group would be how many Categorial Geeks have, have kind of incubated their Cata practice with us and then gone out into the wider world to share it with people because that's a way that many of you can, um, you know, connect. So um, I am proud to introduce to you this panel. We have with us Gemma Jones from the UK, also co-founder of Categorial Geeks, Elsa Heron, who's in the Netherlands, although today she is in France, and she's one of the founders of Cata School Netherlands, and Kelly Mallory in the United States, uh, in Vermont. Are you in Vermont, Kelly? I always, yes, okay. Uh, and uh, co-founder of Cata School Northeast. So it's also my job to start to slide share. So, whoops. Okay, I just lost you. And... <clears throat> Okay. Okay. Screen share. Okay. So we have prepared some slides, but don't worry. It'll only be for part of our, um, of our time. And I wanted to, um, to just mention that you, or we asked for this to be a meeting instead a of meeting? a webinar. So you can uh, participate in the chat. So the chat is for greetings. If you see people, you know, and you want to say, Oh, hi, Sam. I see you. Thanks for coming. Hi, Mary. Great. Uh, comments on what we're talking about, reactions like smiley faces or question marks, micro learnings, and of course, questions. So there you go. I'm going to turn it over now to Gemma Jones. Gemma, what is the category of geeks anyway? What, what a great question. Um, before I start, I just want to encourage people, if you can, turn your cameras on. That would be really brilliant. We want to see your beautiful faces. We want to see if you're um, if you're present. So welcome, everybody. Um, I'd love to talk to you about the KGG, the Category Geeks. So the KGG is a worldwide learning community of women who are learning to think and behave scientifically through the deliberate practice of Kata. And we started in 2020, it was just me and Tracy, and then we invited other women to join us. And gradually over the last three years, we've grown to an international group of over a hundred women. And you can see our vision statement there on the bottom right, which we aspire to be trailblazing, to accelerate scientific thinking, and to have a positive impact on our world. And we meet every Monday as a group, and we also have a more social meeting every Tuesday, we call it Cata Coffee, where we onboard new members and we have a space for chat. And we also have a dedicated coaches meeting for any of our members currently coaching in the learning groups. And this is perhaps one of the things that I'm most proud of, that we launched cohort 11 of learning groups in September. Our members come together in groups of three, a learner, a coach, and a second coach every working day for eight weeks, all on a voluntary basis. And they show such huge generosity with time and energy. The learners get eight weeks of, weeks of free coaching and they always tell us how much they appreciate it and love it and how much they get out of it. And the coaches get eight weeks of deep practice with a dedicated team of support behind them. And they also rave about how wonderful it is to be in the learning group and how much they get out of it. So now I want to summarize some of our achievements over the past three years. Oh, I went the wrong way. That's silly. Enter. Oh my gosh. Okay. That was weird. Ah. Okay. I'm going to have to stop, I think, and restart unless there's something someone could tell me I'm doing wrong. Okay. I'm just going to do that.
Okay. I think what happened is when I went to try to do the chat, which you probably all saw, um, the uh, I realized later that you probably all saw it. Okay, I get it. I know what happened. It goes black. Okay. Uh, only one, and then nope. I gotta escape that. Sorry, this is taking time we don't have. Uh, okay. I'll have to speak. Screen share. There we are. Share. Is that, have you got it? Well, no, can you share your screen? Uh, can you present? Because we can just see PowerPoint. Yes, I can present. Thank you. But I don't think I can do the chat, Jim, because when I tried to do okay, that. I'll do the chat. Don't worry. Perfect. I'll do. Merci. Okay. There you go. Okay, we can't see the sticky notes. Sorry, Tracy. It's one of them's hidden. No. Um, oh, are you yeah. you're seeing? Are you seeing my Zoom too? Yeah, you're yeah. seeing a Zoom. So if oh. you can go back to click back to and then get it's hidden up. Okay, that's okay. I that think. works. Yeah. Can you go back to? Well, we'll see. Yes. Okay. Try again. Okay, so first and foremost, the most amazing thing is that we built a global community of friends, over 100 women who actively participate from many corners of the world, from lots of different industries and backgrounds. It's an incredibly diverse group of women. And we are recognized as pushing the boundaries of Kata. We're developing new tools and new techniques, new workshops, new ways of teaching, new ways of practicing Kata and new starter Kata. And we've also provided over 700 hours of free training through learning events, workshops, teaching moments. Now, to date, we've had 108 training groups. And um, 108 times a group of three women across the world have come together for daily coaching cycles for eight weeks. And we've had over 3,700 coaching cycles. And over 100 of these have been live in front of the group. So they, the group get to learn by observing each other. And most importantly, perhaps, we have grown so far 23 new coaches, women who previously were not coaches, who now have the skills and capabilities to teach others how to think and behave scientifically. Now, if you're interested in learning more about, go back, Tracy. Okay. If, you're, in, if you're interested, someone is not on mute. We possibly mute that person um so if you're interested oh, in learning more if you're interested in learning more about the kgg there's some links in the chat one is for the, our youtube channel where you can see short videos about what we do and the other one is for our website which shows my email address if you'd like to contact us now i'd like to mention a concept which we developed within the kgg and which we think is incredibly important. So back in 2020, we developed a concept that we call micro learnings. And a micro learning is a tiny burst of new knowledge. And we encourage our members to write them down. It's actually a requirement of our learning groups that each member identifies and records a micro learning after every coaching cycle. And we have found that this hugely accelerates our learning. Now I'm going to add a link, another link to the chat, which is a a short video on YouTube where you can learn more about this concept if you're interested. Now on the screen, you can see a photo on the left that's from summer camp this year. I'm gonna talk about summer camp a little later where we encourage attendees to share micro learnings on sticky notes on the wall. We also do this every week digitally during our meetings. Now this is something you can start practicing right away. When you have a micro learning during this session, when you discover something new, a tiny burst of new knowledge, please share it with us in the chat. And now I'm gonna hand over to Tracy, who's gonna talk all about Kata schools. Well, very briefly, thank you, Gemma, and sorry for those little scrubs. Okay, so that's what Kata Girl Geeks is. What is a Kata school? Um, this map of the world is from uh, kataschool.org, uh, which is sort of um, a website where they have the Kata School Manifesto and the global um, list of Kata schools. And as you can see, there's, oh, I'm sorry, I'm hiding Australia with Gemma. Let me move you up. There's, <laughs> they go all the way from uh, Australia to us here uh, in Kata School Cascadia on the west coast of North America and many in between. So a Kata school is a local hub for Kata. 
and they are open to everybody. They are founded usually by just a few people, sometimes by one person, and have varying levels of activity across the world. But if you are looking, if you look at that map and you see someplace close to where you are, uh, you could probably find them on this map and have one way at least to um, connect with your CATA community. So I'm going to now ask Elska to tell us about Oh, no, sorry. First, I'm going to tell you the question. So I've asked each of the panel people to tell us a little bit about their CATA school that they're representing today, why they volunteered to start a CATA school, and what do you get out of it? And they only have three minutes each or so. So here we go. And now, Elska, please tell us about CATA School Netherlands. Well, thanks, Tracy. Well, don't worry, you're not supposed to be able to read this. Yeah. But it's to stress that we started the Kata school in our own language, which is Dutch, uh, because we we noticed that um, doing Kata, learning Kata, coaching Kata is so much easier to do in your own language. So Tracy, please go to the English one now. <laughs> um, well, to the left, you see Marielle Swaga and me. Uh, we were KGGs, Kata Girl Geeks, from the beginning and much inspired by it. And what we did, we started Kata School NL uh, in one and a half years ago, I think, um, as part of our dream, as a challenge, as part of our dream of developing Kata coaches for all Dutch speaking people. And that's about 23 million people in the world. So it's maybe tiny, but it's a lot of people. Um, and the Kata School NL is a place to meet and learn Katra for, well, mainly Dutch and Belgian Flemish speaking people. Uh, we had a kickoff meeting online in April 22, and then formed uh, with a few more volunteers, uh, a Kata School building team uh, of five. Uh, and what we did was we took the metaphor of, of, a, cat, of a school mm. as a as a basis to develop our kata school so we thought well if we draw a map of a school what do you see you have a reception area you have classrooms you have a library a playground a craft room yeah, uh, and a canteen and when we looked for the first step to develop this big kata school place to meet and learn kata we thought what is an easy and cheap st step to start with well of course there's most most of the vibrant things are happening in the canteen so we started a kata canteen you do the next one slide tracy and we still do this every friday at lunchtime so it's a lunchtime meeting um and that works quite well we had we've had more than 40 right now. And what we also started at last spring was our, our first learning groups. And we're gonna be starting a, a second round of them quite soon, end of the month. It's the idea. There's only two learning groups, but well, you have to start somewhere. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, and we did a few things more because you heard something about the playing grounds. So okay, Tracy, if you do the next one. We oh. did a kata game event and tried some different um, games to play with when you introduce kata. And it was only last Thursday that we had our first um, live and hybrid event in uh, in Rotterdam uh, with first a kata coaching dojo, and that was a physical uh, event, and then a uh, an online event with a card game um, and that that attracted some that was meant, uh, meant to what uh, well people who don't know too much about kata already okay thank um, you Elska I have to move to Kelly thank you <laughs> I'm looking at the time oh, that was my last sentence thank you great perfect Kelly hello so I have been a member of the KGG since about 2020 and practicing in that, um, I came out of that thinking, wow, what a beautiful community and seeing so many people across uh, the globe. And so I started joining Kata School Cascadia meetings and then thought, man, why can't we do this out on the East Coast? So we started just reaching out to people and seeing who would who would show up, um, had 
weekly meetings for a while, went to monthly, and then I found Alan. I know he's on today. Um, and he and I have been working together over the last several months, uh, I think maybe almost a year. And how we started together was Alan wanted to practice coaching more. And so I said, hey, I'll be your learner. And we developed a challenge around how do we build this community, which is our goal, creating a community of practitioners in the Northeast. And from that, we've developed a uh, cadence where we will do um, every other week an improvement kata deep dive. Uh, so a deeper dive on some portion of the improvement kata patterns. And we're getting into the coaching kata patterns now. So it's every other Friday at 1230. And then additionally, every other week, we'll do coaches practice, which I'm not calling dojo, but it's it's essentially just a place for coaches to come together and practice skills. Even if you don't practice kata, you can still get good learning and micro skills from that. So that's also 1230 Eastern. And then we have a monthly just open discussion, the fourth Wednesday of the month at noon, kind of like the canteen uh, for just anybody who wants to come and ask questions and learn. And say, Tracy, if you go to the next one. Well, but I just want to say, I watched your video about the target. Uh, <laughs> what is the target condition today? And I thought your SpongeBob space, uh, space square pants cake was an excellent analogy. Thank you. And I will drop those links in the sure. chat because we do have a YouTube channel. Um, but we are also now... Um, exploring having an in-person event to mirror what Kata School Cascadia has done um, on their end this next fall. So if you're interested in participating, we'll be in Connecticut, reach out. So I'm popping our YouTube channel, which is very small and humble, but the point is just to get as much information out to anybody that wants to learn and understand so we can just continue the growth of this wonderful pattern of scientific thinking. Um, and then our LinkedIn and my email, uh, if anybody is interested. Thank you, Kelly. I also have a, just a few slides from other category geeks who have started uh, schools. Uh, Pia and Amanda have started Cata School Sweden. They started last April. And for the same exact reason that Elska said, um, so that they could practice in Swedish. They were also inspired by a presentation from Gemma about how Category Geeks uh, started. And they have open meetings once a week. They have discussion groups. They have learning groups, which is a coach learner second coach group that practices on the KGG model. And so far they're on their fourth, fourth cohort of learning groups. Uh, they've made nine new coaches, wow and two second coaches. So thank you, Pia and Amanda, for sending that in for us. I also got a slide from Julie from the Cata School Francophonie. And that one is really interesting because it uh, it starts, it, it practices and meets in French and has a group in Quebec and a group in France. And maybe soon, I think some people from Africa will be joining that group. So they have, as you can see, a 30 minute Monday meeting. They have more than 150 people on the mailing list. They recently took part in the um, HEC Montreal is the Haute Etude Commerciale or the Graduate School at the University of Montreal for Business. And uh, uh, Julie included in her slide, a shout out to Nicolas and Sylvain, who are the other co-founders of Cata School Francophonie. And now, uh, Gemma, please, um, I asked Gemma to talk about Cata School Cascadia because I'm the host and she is one of our pillars of participation. So Coach Gemma, over to you. Thank you so much. Um, your Zoom is blocking the logo a little. Can you move it up slightly? Oh yes, of course. Okay, so Cascadia is a bioregion in the Pacific Northwest. So the West Coast of the USA and Canada. This Cata School started as a regional group in 2019, but these days we also welcome and serve people from all around the world. We're all about building community and having fun. And we host two 30 minute Zoom meetings every Friday, one for those who are newer to Kata and one for those who are active coaches. We also host online Kata Geek meetups where we get to share and learn together. And we're actually having one this Wednesday. We'll share a link in the chat in a moment if you'd like to come along. Uh, we also have a YouTube channel where you can watch various videos of previous Kata Geek meetups and other presentations. And we have a resource board on a mural where you can find lots of useful information and links, whether you're new to the practice or you're an experienced coach. We also, and this is one of Tracy and my favorite parts of Cascadia, um, we also have a mascot. You can see them in the middle of the screen. The I Don't Know Yeti came about after we had a conversation where we were reflecting on the power of adding the word yet after the words I don't know. 
And you can get your own, I don't know, Yeti, just buy a Yeti toy. I'm going to share a link in a minute to one on Amazon, um, it, which is a baby Yeti. We also have a website where you can find information about the group and get notified about when we're running workshops. So I'm just going to add those links to the chat now. Thank you. And I'll move on to the next slide so people can appreciate all those beautiful faces. Yeah, so this is a lovely photo from June this year where we came together in person in Makilteo at Cass Tailored near Seattle. So this was a full week of learning. This is our version of a conference where you get intense practice and huge amounts of fun. It's called Cata Together. We also call it Summer Camp. And our next one will be next July. And I want to just give a quick shout out to Mark Rosenthal, who you can see on the far left of the picture. Uh, Jennifer Ayres, who's kneeling down on the bottom left at the front in the blue T-shirt. And Maria Grazanka, who sat on the floor in the front row on the right. Along with myself and Tracy and a few other people, they help coordinate and organize this CATA school and particularly these events. And awesome. Thank you. So go ahead. Special mention has got to go as well to Tucker Cass of Cass Tailored, who hosts the event and who put a huge amount of effort into organizing all the extra things that make it wonderful. We also offer various free and paid online training, including CATA workshops and boot camps. And if you're interested, then you can follow us on LinkedIn to get notified about what is coming up. I'll put that in the chat and I'm back to you, Tracy. OK, thank you. We are doing pretty good for time. So um, in the description, I said we would offer some suggestions or tips on how to find a CATA community if you're an individual and how to build your CATA community um, if you are thinking, hey, my the dot on the map wasn't close to me, or even um, we've always thought that these category schools could be based in a single city or, or a state or province. Uh, they don't have to be a whole country, or as mine is a, um, a bioregion that stretches from uh, northern Canada all the way down to just past San Francisco in the United States. So I'm going to take, I'm going to stop slide sharing so we can see each other more. I haven't been able to read the chat and I'm going to ask Gemma to start with a tip or her uh, suggestion on how to find or start your CAD community. Okay, cool. Cool. Okay. So my first tip, my first advice is please, please don't try to copy what we have done in the KGG or in Cascadia, but please, please do copy the way that we did it. And that's by using this crazy thing called the improvement cutter. So experimenting one step at a time, get a small team together, get really clear about what you want to achieve and why. We call that the challenge. Then dive deep into where you're starting from, spend a lot of time and energy figuring out your current condition, and then set short-term milestones that you think will take you closer to your challenge. And set an operating pattern of how you think things need to work, set some metrics so you know if you've got there, so then you've got a target condition and then experiment really hard, looking for obstacles and tackling them one by one. This is a brilliant pattern, the improvement cata. It really works because what worked for the KGG or what works for Cata School Cascadia or what works for any other Cata School might not work for you. But using the improvement cata, you can find your way to develop your group. I love that, Kelly. Yeah, Kelly's agreeing. That's how they built Cata School Northeast as well. Fantastic. Anyone got any other tips? Sure, let's just go down. The, okay, Kelly, you guys can just unmute. I'll, I'll then join in. One, one from the Northeast um, that I personally struggled with was we started out and had, I think one meeting I ended up with like 26 participants, which felt really amazing. And then attendance petered down. And through working with Alan, part of the beauty of practicing the improvement cutter to create the school found found us in a place where we realized it doesn't matter how many people are there. So even if it's only one person, don't give up. Just keep doing it. Keep putting the content out. Keep showing up because even one person learning this pattern and applying it is so beneficial to the world. Could not agree more. Um, uh, sometimes we have way too many people for my comfort zone, but even uh, like we had a meeting the other day with six people. It was great. Loved it. Elska, do you have any tips? I particularly want you to address the first language issue, like more about that, finding people 
uh, Julie sent in, oh, hey, Sylvain, Julie sent in, um, if I'm going to learn scientific thinking and, you know, new, new ways of thinking, it's way easier to do that for her in French than it is to do it across a second language. And I do know we, there's a group in Washington State, they aren't at a school, they're at in a place of employment, they meet in Spanish. So Elska, can you just say a little bit more about, maybe as a tip, how people might find other people in their first language who want to learn the kata? Yeah, I, well, first of all, um, when Marielle and I uh, joined KGT, uh, we noticed that, well, it was easy for us to do in English, easy enough. But um, when we spoke to other people in our own country, so many people said, well, I won't do that because it's in English. Even though, you know, people learn English from, I don't know, third grade or something. Um, it's so much easier to do in your own language. So that was one of the main drivers for us to to look into uh, who's around us. Yes. Um, and that's why I think it's really important that we also remember that we're not like learning the kata. We're learning scientific thinking and we're learning mm -hmm. to coach people to learn scientific thinking. So something like language, um, relationship, tone, and deliberate <laughs> practice, those are all really, really important things. Yes, because reasoning in your own language, have a reasoning in a different language is okay, but loving one another in a different language is quite yes, a different level. Right. <laughs> um, Jem, do you have anything else to add? Because I see we're coming up to, I want to deal with any burning questions or something. Like I wanted to add one tiny little thing, and that is um, find ways to give value to your members. So an example of how we do that in a KGG is every time someone's in a learning group, they get one of these tiny little button badges and they change color every year. These cost almost nothing like to I actually make them myself, but you can have them made. But sending them out, people talk to me about how much they love getting a parcel from England with their badge, you know, with their button badge in. So finding little things like that to, you know, little bits of. See, Kelly's got them all on a lanyard. I love it. <laughs> um, and Helen, it's gorgeous. Yes. <laughs> and so the Kata School Cascadia has tons of badges yeah. too. And uh, on that slide of our summer camp, there were the there are special badges for special events. And so there you go. Yeah. <laughs> great. That's great. And and t-shirts. You and I, Gemma and I are both wearing shirts from Cata events. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to pull my sweater out because I don't know. <laughs> but... Um, <laughs> Yeah, so we and also uh, we had like a cotton bag, just things that connect people, I think is really a great idea. And uh, well, we are we've got three minutes left. So I haven't been monitoring the chat. Were there any comments or uh, questions in the chat? Or does anybody want to offer a comment or a, a question at this time? We have probably time for like one. Everything in the chat has pretty much been answered, but we do have a hand that was raised. Oh, great. Megan? Megan, hi. Hi, everyone. Hey, um, I'm a Teams girl, not necessarily a Zoom girl, but you guys have put so many valuable links in the chat. Once this call is ended, how do I access all those links? Is there a way I can like extract this or have these all you know, so I can keep following up on all the links. Yes. So, oh, go ahead, Gemma. Gemma's on quiet. You can I, download the links now yourself, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say you can download the links yourself or if you wanted to, I'm going to put my email address in if anyone wants me to send them a copy of all the links. But Skylar. And I, okay. And I was going to say um, we can gather the links and post them on LinkedIn. If you look for Cata School Cascadia or probably Lean Frontiers, probably Skylar could do it, uh, and just make sure all the links get into a post. Because you're right, some of those links are awesome, and you're going to want to have them. Okay. Well, there's, all, there's also someone who, who switched on Otter AI, so probably chats in there too. I don't know if somebody is I don't know how that works. So I, I wouldn't want to rely on that. So I don't know. So it transcribes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, so we'll Jennifer's make sure. saying that chat download is disabled so they can't do that so okay Tyler, are you okay for people to email me or do you want people to email you what what do you want us to do for people they to can them? they can email you that is totally fine i do believe that we have the chat saved um so when we do exit out that the chats chats should automatically save as well um but they are more than welcome to email you that's 
that's perfect. Skylar, can you just email the chat to all the people who registered? Yeah. With the recording. Why don't you do that? That would be awesome. If when you send the link to the recording, there's a link to the text. It's just a text file. It's a very small text file that downloads. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the for the cheers. Okay, well, I think it's time to say goodbye. This is a half an hour webinar. Thank you for joining us on your Monday morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. And it was so lovely to see so many friendly faces and new people too that I've never heard of. Special shout out to Anne Hill of um, Cata School UK who's been very active uh, about reinvigorating that kind of school. So thanks a lot, everybody. My name is Tracy Defoe. I've been here with Gemma Jones, Elska Heron, and Kelly Mallory at the request of Skylar from Lean Frontier. So see you soon. Thanks for joining us. I hope I hope to see you at Category Geeks or perhaps at Category School Cascadia, Northeast, or even in the Netherlands or Francophonie. Okay, bye. Bye, everyone. Just a reminder. Bye. -bye. bye.